The President of the Republic of South Sudan, Salfakir Mayardit, in his capacity as the Commander in Chief of the Unified South Sudan National Army and the Supreme Commander of all other organized forces, has on Thursday, 14th April 2022, presided over the oath of allegiance of officers from SPLM IO and SOA whose ranks have been confirmed and marched into one unified command structure as is stipulated in the revitalized peace agreement. The president also presented over the oath of office of the chief of defense forces, inspector general of police, director generals of the national security service and the national wildlife service, the commissioner of the national civil defense service and their respective deputies in the national army and all other organized forces. The oath taking was administered by the Chief Justice Chandraesh Madud in the presence of the first Vice President Dr. Riyak Machar Teng, Vice President for Services Delivery Cluster, Hussein Adelbagi Akol, Presidential Advisor on National Security Affairs to Gadwak Manimi, and a number of national ministers, government, and foreign dignitaries. Addressing the new unified command after the oath taking, President Safakir said he has been in pain because the people have continued to die due to confrontations, and yet the peace agreement has been signed by the parties. The president told the generals to ensure that the cases of the unknown gunmen on the roads of South Sudan disappear completely. <laughs> From today onwards, let this animal called uh, unknown gunman, let that person disappear from the roads of South Sudan. For the chocolate betaku, Lolisa Fi Haja Bakul Nas, Uma Maruf, Manatu, you are not genuine. Filaya <laughs> Ufinas Haragubi Yurbudom to the ground. Labors. Why is this thing happening? At the time that we have signed peace. The president said he has made several compromises. In so many ways, ranks, positions, he has given them all out because the people of South Sudan have suffered and they should not be taken back to war again. What the the current world has produced our ranks. Ulo the ranks ya ukan baktul nas. I have given them to you. Fi mai kalatani. Positions or ranks. We have given them all. But we want peace in our country. I have been saying many times that I will not take the people of South Sudan back to war. And I remain constant in that position that there is nothing that takes us to war again. Our people have suffered. And if they have suffered, it is not we, the leaders of the South, who will always right into decisions that will take people to war. The president questioned the generals why there are still forces in the bush still fighting, and yet we have formed one unified command of all the security organs in the country. Now that we have agreed to unify the forces, I am wondering that there are forces 
who are still in the bush, are the forces of Riyak Machar or do they have a different commander? Because they are the ones now fighting in Lair, they are fighting in, uh, in Eastern Nasser. Where do they belong? I know the forces of General Thomas Velo, which are said to be called Nas. Yes, they are different people, and they are fighting the government forces. If we have now agreed to unify our current forces, then let us work together to prevent anybody who is not with Dr. Yek Machar and not with us, we should prevent such people from spoiling what we have now made to be good. In addition, the President also asked the Unified Command Forces to provide adequate security in the country and ensure that those that are still in the POCs are returned back to their home areas for settlement. We are people who are rotting in the POCs, in the UNAMIS, all over South Sudan. What are they doing there? These UNAMIS is teaching our people with laziness that people wait for a ready food, ready and free food to be given to them. When the can't be a barong, they go fishing barong, ilka samak bitaw barong, ilka seed filgaba, we yamul mazara bitaw, a chaninu yenti. Now they are dependent on the humanitarian uh, uh, assistance. Let us clear the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, the situation in South Sudan so that our people come back those who are in the POCs, they come out. Those who are in refuge, they come back. And all these things, if it happens, it will be through you, who are the commanders of the joint forces. The first Vice President, Dr. Yakma Charteng, said he wished the unification of the command structures was done at earlier time, so he would have relinquished the roles to the President as the Commander-in-Chief and the Supreme Commander of all the other regular forces. Dr. Yak told the generals to work collectively and say that the issues of lack of trust will go away with time. Personally, I would be happy if this was done in a shorter time so that I can relinquish one of the titles that I have. Because if I still have people who are who have not gone to cantonment. The responsibility is so heavy, particularly that you don't feed them. So if we can expedite the process of taking these forces to the cantonment and training and DDR, I then will be free. And the responsibility will be on our president, although we'd still be assisting him. So let's take the challenge of expediting the implementation of this chapter in the shortest possible time. I'm confident that you are now unified, you have one command, suspicions, mistrust will go away. 
So the responsibility is now yours to move us forward. The Vice President for Services Delivery Cluster, Hussein Adalbagi Akol, said this milestone has reflected a positive image of South Sudan to the world and the people of South Sudan that the country is moving into the right direction. Hussein Adalbagi Akol told all the generals that now the unified command structure has been established. They should be taking orders of command from only one supreme commander, which is President Salfakir Mayardit. <laughs> Alela, Haikun Mopsutina Manishufukum, Gadin Sawa, Ted Ria Dawahit. She and the Nogul Lekum, the Rinal Ganun, the Mitted Massago Beranun, with the Hetero Muranun. His name, Nan the Rin Menelela, Tarfu, Inua La Radna, Sawa, Wa Ayo, a La Radna, a La Rad Brutocol, with the Dola. Well, Riada, the Hedel Ria Dawahit. The presidential advisor on national security affairs, Tudgadwak Manimi, described the unification of the commands as a milestone that most people doubted would be achieved, but we made a breakthrough. Tudgadwak mentioned that the remaining tasks are minor and they will not take much time to accomplish. نحن أيام من مضى في جلل والمشاكل وجرر الربال لكن اليوم انتهى نحن بقينا شيء واحد وبقينا دولة عنده جيش مواحدة وعنده كل حجزة مواحدة الفضل اللي بيصير في 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 طول بعد كرج القوات بعد كده سهل بكل القوات موجود كل شيء معسكرات تقريب. The Minister of Defence and Veteran Affairs Angelina Tang said with this milestone they will now be commanded as one unified command which will navigate the process for the completion of the implementation of Chapter 2 on the security arrangements. You are now together. You are now together, and this should help the next phase. Actually, the completion of this first phase, which is the graduation of the forces. And for us to try and stick to the timelines that came in the recent agreement that was made by the principal. We graduate the forces in time so that we can uh, start now the second phase so that when we finish this second phase, we should really finish this second phase in not more than six months. So that once and for all, we have one unified command for not only at your level, but actually at the level of the principal. And this is very important. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mayik Aideng, communicated the message to the world that the leaders of South Sudan have made a breakthrough and closed the chapter of war in the country. He pointed out that this has always been the dream of President Salfakir, to attain peace and never to return the country back to war again. Mayik Aideng thanked the peace grantors, Sudan and Uganda, for fulfilling the dream of President Kir not to return the country back to war again. For uh, spending countless hours and days to make sure your dream of not taking people of South Sudan back to war comes through. We thank them for that effort and we want to reassure the community, international community and the region that South Sudan has closed the chapter on war. There is no more war. Uh, this is a democracy. Democracy is messy. It's not clean. Local dictatorship can be kun sahel. Tamu talimat bas u kajabamshi. Like in the democracy, you need negotiation, you need give and take. Okay, 
Uh, we want to tell them, we always tell them here that uh, when, when you are a foreign ministry that South Sudan is not going back to war and they did not believe us. So we want to repeat again that His Excellency the President and the first Vice President, Vice President Abdelbagi, are not taking this country back to any conflict. And we are happy, we congratulate the new uh, Unified Command and I thank you. The Minister of the Interior, Mahmoud Solomon Agog, said this achievement is a milestone towards attaining total security stability in the country since the commanders will now be getting orders from one supreme commander. We will join hands together and we work together for the benefit of our citizen and of our country. Uh, as soon as we finish from here and we go out and you join your unit, that shows that from today we have only one Supreme Commander-in-Chief where we will get the orders and we will work together under one command and uh, to join hand also to face all difficulties which were facing us. President Safakir issued Republican degrees and orders are on Tuesday, 12 April 2022, in which to confirm the ranks of the officers of SPLM IO and SOA and formed a unified command structures. He appointed several generals to head this security institution and he presided over their oath taking ceremony on Thursday. The unified command, which is stipulated in the 2018 revitalized peace agreement, will be leading the unified command forces whose graduation is expected to be completed soon. Jumare. Jumare.